We're gonna see if we can get this thing running today and uh, traverse some obstacles. Get it running. Got a brand new battery in it. Brand new engine. It runs like a top. Looks like a resealed tire too. Yep. What's this thing all about here? It's a little storage area they made. Put your beer in there? Mm. Put your eggs in there and have them cooked by the time you're done. Cold start. Briggs and Strat conversion from the uh, crappy little single cylinder two stroke that was in there. And that's the uh, monster power for this thing. Plugs. Okay, let me just. If you put them from the outside, um, twigs of trees and stuff will grab them and uh, rip them right out and if you put them from the inside they can pop them out but at least you still save your plug that's not the end of the world What kind of goats are those? They're called fainting goats. What's the deal with them? You scare the crap out of them that they fall over like they're dead. Goes forever, man. Matter of fact, it's not even empty. Just freshen her up with a little high octane. We have a choke knob down here. You just pull out and choke the motor. Here's your throttle up here on the sticks. And here's our transmission shifter. You uh, pull up for reverse, neutral's in middle, and drives in forward. Now, <clears throat> with reverse, you can pull up on it right away, go into gear, and in order to make it go in reverse, you have to pull both sticks back, and it'll back up. Now with drive, it's completely backward. You have to pull both sticks back, drop it into gear, and then when you let go of the sticks, it'll go forward. So then you can go hands-free, basically, with it traveling, just working the throttle. To steer, you just clutch out one side, and you pull back even harder, and it'll break that side. You can pull back halfway and do a neutral coast, pull them both back, and you're stopping using the levers to stop.
long as she's sitting on a little bit of, she can touch the bottom just a little bit, moves along great. Floating, you're gonna float. You're not gonna drive through water, you're gonna float through water. So, uh, some tricks you can do is you can rock the machine so that the tires catch bottom and then you can move forward or spin around in a circle or whatever happens, you know. But if you stay along the edges or whatever, goes through everything just fine. My feet are completely soaked all the way up to here. That's just because when I came up this ramp all the water went to the front and soaked my feet. So hey, it's a toy. You know, it's a six wheeler. You're gonna have fun. I'm gonna go up this big hill here. It looks like it's probably maybe 30 or 40 feet. And we'll see if uh, I, mean, I can make her up in the empty. 